Okay, let's take a look at your pedal mechanics while you're warming up. As you know, I had you spin just as a warm up for about 10 minutes. And the first thing I want you to notice is look at how your shoulders go the opposite direction of your hips. So as your right leg is pushing down, your shoulders drift off to the left. This side to side movement of your upper body is wasting a lot of energy on the bike. When we slow it down, you can get a better illustration of how your shoulders are going left to right. And you have to remember, that that energy is literally being distributed laterally while your pistons, known as your legs, are trying to transition all that power to the chain and to that rear drive wheel. What I want you to be thinking about is tightening up your abdominals and trying to not let your upper body rock as much. Now looking at your pedal stroke from the side, as we discussed, you push from the top of the pedal stroke 12 down to the bottom of the pedal stroke at 6 o'clock. When we slow it down here, you get a better idea. You notice that your feet never get to a completely flat position. Now, I don't want you to think that I want your heel lower than the pedal spindle, but what I do want is I want your heel slightly lower so we can get more power transferred to the pedal spindle, which will make it to the rear wheel. When you do that, you're gonna find better endurance, better speed, and faster runs off the bike. Now when we look at you straight on, notice how the bike keeps shifting to the left of the screen. That's your right side. This tells me that you're right leg dominant. And notice how much of the top of your shoes we see. Okay, I'd like to see a little bit more of the tip of your shoes right here and right there. By lowering your heels from 9 to 12, that's going to prepare you to get a little better transition of that power to that carbon fiber sole of your shoe, which again is going to result in better speeds with less effort. The thing I want you to also pay attention to is we're trying to find a way to minimize the movement. As you look at that wheel rock back and forth, you have to recognize that that's happening on the open road, which is also increasing your rolly resistance and slowing you down. Now when we looked at your pedal mechanics isolated leg drill, this is at the end of a five minute window. And this is where I'm asking you to eliminate any noise, specifically the clanking in the chain. Notice how we see the bottom of your shoe quite a bit. And as we transition into slow motion, right here you can see a tremendous amount of the bottom of your shoe. Remember what we talked about. If you're leading with a high heel, you're leaving some power on the table in regards to getting it transitioned. So lowering your heel right here at 9 o'clock is going to allow you to lower your heel over the top of the pedal stroke and as your opposite leg comes through the bottom of the pedal stroke remember 12 6 6 12 that keeps the legs out of the way of one another that allows for better pedal mechanics in full circles which transitions into better speed better endurance and better runs off the bike 